So Vancouver to Machosan. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> and how did you choose Machosan? <laughs> See, you already got to see a fail. Yay! <laughs> We're on the right road. We failed at finding the place. On the right road. You excited with your. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, we must be in the right spot. We've got the, the ravens in the background. Oh, here they come. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> Hi. She's committed now. Are you Melissa West by any yeah. chance? Oh, that's so cool. You you're, you popped up on my Instagram as well, too. The really? Other day. Yeah, I don't know okay. why. Okay. We got the starter. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. And the couple that owns the farm are like the sweetest people. Oh my I'm so excited to stay in touch with them. They bought the, their farm a year and a half ago. They came from Vancouver and they decided to, oh, that's a good idea. Why is it like reverse though? There we go. They decided to buy a farm and move from Vancouver to the island and move to Machosan and they've got cows and chickens. They have a single and... cow. She was beautiful. Oh yeah, the cow came out. They gave out. birth to a calf. They yeah. Were... And the cow and was we were beautiful, petting the cow. The cow was letting us, um, the cow was letting us pet it. It was so cute. It was like, it's like a dog. <laughs> it was so sweet. And turkeys. Turkeys, yep. And then lots of chickens. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really nice. cool. So we'll definitely go back. She's, they've got bees and what else they have? Oh, she's got an acorn tree. She makes her own acorn flower. And she's told us to go check out this place in Machosan called Nook de Rose, which is at the mill where okay. she gets the flour for, for her bread. And that's right here. And we are here already because Machosan isn't a very big place. <laughs> so let's check it out. Is that good? Tim got a Cornish pasty pasty. And pasty. I never know how to say that word, obviously. <laughs> and a samosa. And we're just heading back. We went to Nukta Rose, which is a, a mill. A mill that grinds grain, obviously. And we got some einkorn flour, which is one of the most ancient grains. And a lot of times people who have uh, intolerance to grains can eat this grain so uh, this was something that my friend Shannon if you aren't following her on Instagram follow her Shan at Shannon's Natural Kitchen she's a professional chef she recommended that I try this grain so that's uh, something that I'm planning on using in my sourdough starter and also we got some just regular unbleached flour because if it goes well I'm going to go to flour as well just normal flour so they're both regular they're both uh, flowers that we can use in the bread obviously but they're both organic is what I'm trying to say and I'm just thinking like I'm really glad that Tim encouraged me to do this vlog because I just think it's amazing that people like this on the planet exist people that are so passionate about food and that are excited to make food even better and to make our world a better place by milling their own flour in tiny little shops in little tiny little towns it just you guys have no i think you're getting the idea of how excited this makes me it makes me so excited that people care about food this much do you know what i'm saying so oh and tim got an ice cream sandwich too so are we, are we going to open this and try this you're not? You're going to let this melt on the way home? Oh, you got to finish your lunch first. Okay. 
The thing about that mill that was really interesting was it was it looked like um, somebody had been doing drywall in there, didn't it? But it was just the flour that was all over the place. Like you just probably could never keep that place clean, right? Because the flour would just fly everywhere when you're milling it. And the other thing was, uh, I said, do you have any einkorn flour? But you have to like call ahead. I was lucky because he had a bag then, but you actually have to call ahead if there's some flowers that you want to get them to mill it. mill it for you. So, I mean, it's super fresh. He only had like one bag of each flower on the shelf. I mean, it's just, it's blowing my mind. I can't tell, I think you getting it, that it's blowing my mind. How is it? Use your words. That's ridiculous, that's so tasty. I can feel, I can taste the ginger ginger snap, the rum, the raisins. Wow, just, just wow. Okay, this morning I did the kneading of the dough. So I covered it and put it in this container. And so I'm gonna take it out and see what it looks like. Now I have to, it says I have to uh, prove the dough. Prove the dough, I have no idea. <laughs> And we're going to see if it rose, and then I'm going to be punching it back and preparing it to proof and bake. It hardly looks like it rose. So that's what it looks like. This is already looking like a fail. Oh, but it's... Oh, it's really sticking. Okay, so I'm going to pull it out of here. put it on this clean surface and it just says to you turn it onto a clean surface and knock the dough back <laughs> and then you uh, we're just taking the air from the dough which equalizes the temperature within the dough and then you form it into a ball so Form it into a ball. I've seen them do this on videos and you just kind of keep working it into a ball. This looks pretty good actually. It looks like it does in the videos. I'm quietly optimistic. we think it looks all right and then I'm gonna put it in this I don't have a you put it in a proving basket I don't have one so I'm just gonna put a clean tea towel in there and we're going to line it with some flour so it doesn't stick That's it. And we'll put it in upside down. And then we'll just cover it over and it's got to sit for another three hours. Okay, so I finished baking the bread and it's come out of the oven and it looks pretty good didn't rise very much but I think not bad for my first try pretty happy with that I know what I can do better for next time I would um, I think it just wasn't warm enough in here for the bread to rise on the first time through after I needed it for the first time so I watched some videos and I saw that if I were to put it like in the oven with a light bulb on or even in the oven with uh, some like boiling water in another pan, it would have probably rose a lot more. So either that or I need to get my culture um, going better, my starter going better. So, you know, leave some tips or whatever you, you, you know, your tips in the comments for me. And that would be helpful. I'm gonna cut it so we can take a look at it cut now. Here's what the loaf looks like on the inside. So not bad, some of those little bubbles on the inside. And um, let's try a little bit. It's pretty dense. 
It got some good crispiness to it. it. Tastes really good. So now the next test will be to see. The reason why I tried doing this is because of that article, and I'll post it. That my friend Mary said. Give me a second. So now the big test will be to see if um, I'm able to eat this without getting headaches or migraines from it. So I'll keep you posted on that. But give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to continue to see my <laughs> experimentation with sourdough bread and hear more about that. And put sourdough bread is yummy in the comments and leave any tips that you have for me in the comments to get my bread to rise more. And I will see you next time. Bye.